It's half one in the afternoon, I'm drinking a warm carling, and I look like an absolute cretin. I start 2021 as I mean to go on. <sighs> Welcome to Brexit FC Season 2, the series where I try to put even Big Sam's dedication to anti-football to shame. For those of you new to this, my goal is to see how far I can take an all-English team in the Premier League, with a transfer policy that desires leadership, work rate, and determination above all else. Remember, if you didn't win, you just didn't want it enough. Also, if you'd like to support these shenanigans and get early access plus your name written on the Brexit vest, stick around to the end to find out how. Nationality English, birthplace, I reckon we put Stoke. The first thing I'm doing is making him an actual middle-aged man because last time I made him my own age and I just it just felt wrong. Look at those curves, I envy this man. As far as I'm concerned, that's Brexit. Yes. He's back. I've tried to replicate the Dar from last year and I think I've done a pretty good job. Just love how he like, he just doesn't even fit in the screen. He's just too vast. I don't think the board are going to particularly like my transfer policy looking at these two attributes right here, but it's my club, not theirs. Naturally, there's only one acceptable tactic for this uh, for this project. Let's see what kind of squad we have. <laughs> send on leadership course. Can I just send them all on a leadership course? Aaron Cresswell is 30. I thought he was really young. Okay, so I've had a bit of a play around with the team and uh, with what I have so far, this seems like the best team I can come up with. But obviously the next step is to transfer list all of the foreign players and uh, see if I can do some scouting. Sorry, I just have to take a quick break from my quiet scouting trip to ask, in what world is Eric Dyer valued at 31 million Great British Pounds? Player Trace tries to play his way out of trouble. Try and say that with a straight face. Also, Danny Simpson as a free agent gets straight in my team. Okay, so I've fixed up the code of conduct. If they miss training or go AWOL, then it's a straight two week fine. But uh, we don't want to encourage people to back out of challenges, let's say. So the punishments for bookings have been put to none. I'm sure I'll probably be met with some resistance. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get them on board, but we can try and convince them. Oh dear. This hasn't been a very beneficial team meeting, I don't think. All right, we're already into our first game of the series. It's against the reserves, but uh, it's not really the reserves as I've basically just stuck all of my transfer listed foreigners on the B team. So there's a strong chance that I get smashed here. The team talk is complete. The players all hate me. Let's go. Oh, that's good, that's good, go on, go on, that's it. Antonio's in on goal. No, he's <laughs> Oh, that's a lovely pass, go on, yay! That was the least Darish reaction I think I've ever had. Oh, you get in the ho! <laughs> Booger. We've drawn one all with the reserves and you know what, that's actually quite promising because I thought that we might get a little bit slapped. Okay, the first big change has been implemented and that is to bring in Gareth Barry as the assistant manager. I mean, I did actually want to try and bring him in as a midfielder, but apparently he's decided to retire. And change number two, in a similar vein, I wanted to sign him as a player, but Lee Catamol will also be joining the coaching staff at West Ham. What is it with Mark Noble getting injured in pre-season in this series? Like, it happened in the last one too. Okay, it's friendly number two, and I'm resting Fredericks because he's a little bit tired. Nothing else I can really say, I'm just gonna get on with it. I'm losing to Budapest. What's he doing? He's just walked through. That Declan Rice. I've just watched Voros just run straight through you. Oh, f off. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Love me. Do you, do you want a carling? <laughs> no, no, George, no, wait, come back. I mean, I wouldn't blame you for leaving, to be honest. I've just lost 3-0 to, um, to Budapest. Right, so, uh, that's it. I'm thinking of storming out as well, to be honest. Real Madrid make Fabianski offer. Fine, <laughs> off you go to Real Madrid. Yes, Danny Simpson is joining us. No, James Milner's not interested. He, he doesn't believe West Ham are big enough for him. You're lost, James. Yes, Gary Cahill's here. Please, please. The board are just working against me, I swear. I'm genuinely triggered now. Need some more carling. At least we got Shaw Cross, that's something, surely. If the board cancel this one, I'll be very angry. Nay, hey, he's, he's here. Who made the executive decision to give Ryan Shaw Cross 13 aggression? Okay, I'm gonna go for Phil Jones then. He's the next best thing. Yes, Phil Jones. That's a big win for us. And that should be our center back situation sorted. What? Off of off, you fat Sorry, I should, I'm not gonna have to cut all that. You absolute Phil. So, so the board have decided to cancel Phil Jones too, because they just don't know anything about football. 
Well, Troy Deeney wants a lot of money, but uh, you know what, he's worth it. For what he brings to the table, I'm happy to pay that. Off, oh, off, oh, for God's sake, oh, what? Well, I've just realised that Ryan Fredericks is actually Scottish, because in the last game he was listed as English. I'm sorry, Ryan. <laughs> Okay, it's friendly number three, and uh, it's going to be the same team again because Shawcross is injured, but actually Danny Simpson's coming in at right back. One for the injured and two for the actually Scottish Ryan Fredericks. Yeah, this is the best I can do for now. Let's go. I love watching him pace like a caged tiger, ready to... Uh, I don't know what he does. <laughs> He's going to pass that. Yes, Cresswell, that's it. Oh, yay! Again, <laughs> the most Brexit goal celebration I could possibly come up with. Oh, we're moving it around well. Go on. Oh, here we go. 2-0. And another? Oh my goodness. But uh, Bowen's going to lash one. Ooh. I promise I'll get more enthusiastic when the season starts. It's just, it's a pre-season friendly against Happy Valley. I think the XG of 1.6 and the 4-0 scoreline kind of sums things up nicely because, uh, you know, here at Brexit FC, we don't believe in XG. We just believe in, um, you know, expected passions per... Um, I don't know where I'm going with this, I'm going to stop. There we go, a comfortable win over probably a not so happy valley anymore. Oh, Barnes is interested. Good, 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 good. The one that got away last year, he's joined us. Troy Deeney is a West Ham man. We finally have an established target man who's good at kicking people. So, my camera died just before and I'm not entirely sure where it died. But I had bids for Jake Livermore and Wayne Rooney accepted, so that's pretty big. I also managed to bring in Ashley Barnes from Burnley for a fee in the region of £20 million. The most expensive signing so far, but a small price to pay for the raw testosterone that he brings. Yeah, Jake Livermore has just signed and it looks like Rooney is about to join him. Well, <laughs> okay, I had my mic turned off because I was uh, saving battery, but I've just seen my youth players just volleyed a 30-yard screamer into the top corner. Well, I can't cut this game now, can I? Would somebody like to tell me what is happening down there? What's he doing? <laughs> just writhing around on the floor. Call an ambulance! Anyway, solid 4-0 win. Let's move on. Unfortunately, I have some bad news as one of the icons of my last attempt at Brexit FC has fallen through because we're going to have the impending takeover so uh there's no joe garner for us for now but all brighton on the other hand uh, hopefully we'll see oh my goodness all brighton wants ridiculous money yeah no i mean all brighton's just being ridiculous here so uh unfortunately he won't be joining us another signing is complete danny rose is joining us he's not the most brexit player in terms of personality i don't think but he's got you know good aggression decent work rate and determination he's also really cheap and i kind of just needed the backup on the left side seems like the bookies don't think any of our strikers are going to get the golden boot this year we'll show them so i'm still in the market for a few more players but for the final friendly the squad is actually shaping up which is um which is nice to say before deadline day i think rice is going to have to fill in at center back until january when we can maybe look again at jones and cahill but anyway this is going to be the final game of the episode and the final game of pre-season let's go just seen mark noble agrees with my tactical approach of course you do, Mark. Also, what are the odds on my entire team getting injured now that I'm putting out like a full strength? What the? <laughs> How's he done that? I guess having a load of slow aging defenders is probably going to uh, bite me in the bottom a few times this season. But look at him. He's, he's, he's picked the ball up from like way inside his own half. Is that Dawson that's just watched him go past? Go on, Barnes is, Barnes is looking. Oh, hello. Go on, Antonio. Look at that. Oh, Barnes is in. Yes. <laughs> Get in. Oh, come on. <laughs> my defence. Oh, if only we had a Phil Jones or a Gary Cahill in there, right, Karen Brady, who blocked my transfer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. I'm, I'm not going to lie, I was mostly zoned out for that. I just saw him stick it in the net. I, th I thought my defence had it covered. Apparently not. Oh, my word. They're just passing it around some fun here. Oh, can you stop? Yes, he's offside. Had it covered. Oh, for sake. No, 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 no. Don't worry, when Ryan Shawcross comes back, then things will be better. Oh, get What? How? I'm throwing the water bottle is happening. Second half. Let's try and turn this around. No, you... Oh, come on. you got to get on that. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, they're going more attacking. Are you sure that's necessary, guys? Okay. Oh, he's just going to hoof that. Yes. Oh, come on, Barnes, you're in. Oh, what? How do you miss from there? It's anti-football, isn't it? Which is kind of what I asked for, but <laughs> if you're going to play anti-football, you, you, you're not supposed to lose 6-1. At the end of the day, I just don't think we wanted it enough. Absolutely butchered the outro at the time, so 
Take two. I'm excited to announce that I'm opening up the chance to sponsor the Brexit FC series to you, the fans. For £1 an episode, you can get a day's early access to the following videos in the Brexit FC series. And for £5 an episode, I will write your name on the Brexit vest, which I will then wear for the future episodes for all the world to see. Obviously, there's no pressure or anything. I'll still be uploading the videos to my channel as normal. But if you are interested, please head over to my Patreon. There'll be a link in the description and on the screen. I just really appreciate every bit of support for the series. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you again later.